Hello everybody, this is Chromesco018, and this is part two of my Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play, uh, Fire Red, really randomized Nuzlocke Let's Play. Uh, last episode I let you guys try and pick the starter, I didn't get too many votes, but it was enough. Uh, my boyfriend, my brother, and my friend ended up voting as well through texts and asking them. And surprisingly enough, nobody voted for Regirock. Nope. Sorry. But it ended up being a tie between Marshtop and Cubone, so... I had to flip a coin. And the person that ended up winning was... Marshtop. So, this is what we're getting. Yep. Let's see. Oh, if any of you guys have any ideas on names for these Pokemon, uh, go on and tell me, and if I think they're really good, I'll change them when I get to the name raider. For now, I'm just going with something generic. If I had picked Cubone and it had been a female, I would have had the perfect nickname for it. Okay, let's see what this has. Oh, it has an item. A nest ball. Whoa. It's a psychic fighting type! Oh my god! That made this has essentially one weakness. Flying types. Because fighting resists bugs, so it wouldn't be, it'd be neutral to this Pokemon. Psychic reduce, I think, resists itself, so it would be neutral. Uh, ghost types... Wait, will Ghost be effective on this? I don't know. Anyway, it has a naughty nature. Looks like it looks okay for now. Rockhead, prevents recoil damage, protection that can give it anything like takedown and stuff. Sharpen, flatter, camouflage, and poison fang. Not exactly any good moves, and if I run into a steel type, I'm in trouble. Hopefully Cubone's not a steel type. Really? Of course. This is always happens in the original games. Yep, Cubone. He's got a mail. Yep, he's so pushy. She might not have, but we have. Yeah, yeah, it's rather simple. Well, that concept is rather simple. But uh, let's see. Let's go on a new sharpen to up our attack. Aw, it hit this time. I tried recording this last time, but it messed up from the software I was using. So, yeah, I have to re-record it. And when I did this fight, it missed its screech before. Mm, no, not giving it any more... Are you serious? That has Poison Fang too? Oh my god. Okay, one more should do it. As long as this guy doesn't crit me. Phew. Yes. Bye bye. Hold on, I'm turning this down a bit. Okay, that should be good. And it go to level six. Hmm. Not bad. It's trying to learn follow me. Do I really need that? No, I would only need that in double battles, and we hardly ever get double battles. No, you didn't pick the wrong Pokemon, you just didn't do it well. Yeah, I know. See ya. Now then. Let's see. How much money do we get from him? 80 bucks. Okay. Let's go. 
And now we gotta be careful because, like I said before, if we run into a steel type, we cannot do a thing to it. And good. We'll get a potion. Means we got two. Hopefully we can keep them. Now what's in this grass? Uh, Mistrevis. Let's see if this will do anything. Hyperfay. Oh joy. It's not very effective. What's not very effective from poison? Uh oh. Ah, it's not good. Hope it didn't do very much damage. Focus punch! Good. Not very effective. Haha. -ha. This time you're not gonna get to do it. Haha. -ha. Hopefully it doesn't have any special attacks. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, but he's level seven. Okay, it's got rock heads, and that means he can't flinch. Oh, that's why it wasn't flinching, because I think Hyperfang has a chance of flinching. Or flinching. Nice. If I remember correctly, we gotta get out of here. That's a steel type. Because I tried to recruit before and it messed up, I ran into these, and Poison Fang does nothing to it. And Poison Fang is only in doesn't affect at all steel types. Now let's see if we can make it through this without it messing up. I wish they gave us the running shoes right off the bat, but nope. Yeah, 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 I gotta get the parcel. I got it last time. Now that we got the parcel, let's go back to town. Er, back home, I should say. Okay. Hey, Professor Oak, I got your parcel. Poor Reggie Rock is never going to get picked. <laughs> yep, we gotta get the Pokedex. Why are you calling it an encyclopedia? It's not a Pokedex. It's Pokedex. It's an index. Oh my god, I'm talking like my boyfriend. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I know how to catch a Pokemon. Yeah, it's a big task. I'm just glad it doesn't have all the other s regions in here, all seven of them. That'd be bad. Oh, please, why would I ever come around to your house? But now the Nuzlocke is on. We've got Pokeballs. Okay, I just need to be healed. Good, let's go. And our first encounter is... A Chin Chow! Which, if I remember correctly, I think it's a bug type? Uh, let's see...
I think. Ah! But that's all I could do. Hang on. Lost that on the chin chow. I didn't want the level up, I wanted to catch a Pokemon. Shoot. Oh, I've got at least three more encounters before the first gym. So I might get lucky. I've got the one where Gary normally is, the route below and above Viridian City, or Viridian Forest, and the Viridian Forest. I don't remember what it is. It's neutral. Ooh, we can get poisoned. So it's not a poison type. So that way, this is all I can do damage. Oh, it's a psychic type. No, no, it's not a psychic type. It's because it would have been not very effective. Because I know the poison is very is weak against. Uh, suck it types. Now let's go. If I remember correctly, poison is physical in this game. Okay. Let's see if we can go get some more Pokeballs. And some potions. Let's get ten of these. Just in case. Two of these. Uh, two of these. And one of these. There we go. Alright, now that I've got my medication and my Pokeballs, I might as well go on up here and get this guy out of the way. Oh, and that item up there by the tree is a Wiki Berry. Yes, I know how to catch Pokemon. I need to ask you this even if you already caught one. Let's just sit through this. Am I even pushing buttons? checking my phone. Okay, there. Okay, he's done with that. I wonder what Weedle would end up being if I caught one, which I don't think I want to. Nah, not really. I knew how to do it. If we needed to know about the basics, we could always look online or something. At least for people, that is. Now, let's see what our of here is. A Cacturn! Or Cacnea, not Cacturn. I'm scared. Now, let's see if it'll hit itself with confusion. I'm not going to try to attack it. I'm sorry, I'm afraid it would be a bug type or something and I do damage to it. Or too much damage to it. Uh, 
I'm gonna try to pick ball, not the best ball yet. It's only a three level difference. Yay! Okay, let's notice the cactus Pokemon. It prefers harsh environments such as deserts. It can survive for 30 days on water, short and spite. Dang. Sure. It's a female. Uh. If you guys can come up with really good nicknames, just let me know. But keep in mind that these might not evolve into their actual normal forms. It might evolve into something crazy. Okay. Let's check on Jody. A psychic dragon! <laughs> oh my god! With suction cups. Recycle, roleplay, slash, and flamethrower! Woo! Actually, what does roleplay do? User mimics the foe completely and copies the foe's ability. That would actually be useful, considering this, her current ability isn't very good. Okay, so we can add her to the party. But first. Uh, let's not train her yet. I'm gonna have to do a grinding montage. But I'm going to go and heal. So I can go try and catch Pokemon over there to the right to the left at me. Not the right. Over here, I still have the nest ball just in case. Okay, let's go on and get this item over here, even though I know exactly what it is. Wiki Berry, told you. And it restores HP, but it causes confusion. Which, if we could find a Pokemon with own tempo, that would work well. Because it wouldn't be confused. Route 22. Okay, our counter for Route 22 is... A Needle King. Of course. <coughs> Since it's a fully evolved Pokemon, it won't learn any moves by level up. Oh, that's because it evolves through a stone. Stone evolution Pokemon don't. Let's try the Nest Ball. Shoot! So close. Of course. Let's try a Pokeball. Are you serious? One way of attacking it is gone. It's a steel type. I can't do a gusher thing. Except use flatter. <laughs> no. Oh, it's got ace tape. But I know it's just gonna take this poison thing to do a thing to it. Really? How am I supposed to damage this thing? Oh, God. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do that, but I think it's an antidote. Really? I'm supposed to damage it. Did 
Lodi, see if you can do something. Oh no. It's Psychic Dragon. Aw, oh, shoot. Run. No! This is not good. Okay. Let's go in and heal, buddy. Oh dear, come on. Buddy will be able to handle himself or himself. Okay, now that I got that set up. Alright, let me think. How am I going to damage this? Because poor powder snow. Why is it missing? Hold on. Uh, I am so confused. No. Gonna have to run. I'm missing out on the counter, but I don't care. It was just a big hassle in itself. I also have to check in the next forest. Or in the forest for a Pokemon. So I have missed out on two encounters. At least I still have the two Pokemon I have. Okay. Find some in the forest. Let's see what I can find in the forest, guys. Okay, there's item here. Mystic water, which I can't use yet. Oh, baby Jackson, not happy. A parasect. I remember correctly, I think it's a ghost type. If I remember correctly. No, it's a ground type, I think. Oh, got poison anyway. I'll just do this. I'm not going to be able to damage it, so might as well. And the poison will do its thing. And the thing is, is that it's badly poisoned. Oh, if I somehow encounter a shiny in this game, I'm activating sh shiny claws, which means I can catch the Pokemon even if I've already got one in that area. And I can choose whether I can use it or not. So if I can encounter a shiny, which I don't know if I can in this game, then all bets are off. Oh, it's still close. I don't care. Come on, let me catch it, please. Thank you! I gotta use an antidote on it.
Okay. Uh, let's just go with... Okay. I knew it is a ghost type. It's got Trace. It's got Sludge Bomb, Counter, Constrict, and Dizzy Punch. <coughs> okay. Probably isn't a very good Pokemon to have, but it'll help. Which means I'm gonna do a grinding montage. <sighs> Not looking forward to that. But let's go and heal up. I don't even know how long I've been recording for. type? I don't know. So if we run into a mischievous, then what, I think we might be sad. Cacophony? What the heck is that? But I can switch out to Jody since she's got flamethrower. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. Knew it. Okay. I use extreme speed because it's a normal move. I'm glad I didn't randomize the typings of the moves that's wrong. Really be out of it. Okay. Let's go and heal real quick. And get a little bit of training before I end this part off. Because I have no idea how long I've been recording. I'm hoping at least 20 minutes, because then I can't like maybe get 5 more minutes. But. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and the layout as well while I do a little bit of training. I can't believe Jody's got flames on. Never would have expected that. Heck, the last time I tried to record this and it messed up, I had caught, uh, dang it, what was it? Oh, a Letty Bar that had Earthquake. I was like, oh my god. Oh, it's got Levitate, so Earthquake can't work. Woo! Yay! Okay, so it's... A ground type of levitate? That's strange. Or is it a bug type of levitate? Something with levitate. Or it's either that or a second type. For a second, I was like, oh crud, and then I remember that it's not a grass bug type anymore. Which would have been quad weak. Yes! Haha! <laughs> oh. Why'd it have to come true then? Huh, Goldine's faster. Hmm. Strange. Okay. Should kill it. Ha! Okay. 
Let's go in here real quick, just in case. It's a good thing I'm having a ghost type on the team. Now it makes me wonder what the gym leader's Pokemon are gonna be. I'm scared to find out. I'm even scared more of the typings. Because even if they have a legendary, as long as I know the typing, I might have a chance of beating it. Let's go into a parasite a little more. Okay, I know this is rock type. A natural cure. Huh. Nice. Ooh, I got it poisoned. Phew! Oh yes, I remember uh, catching a mischievous and my failed alt my failed thing in this. And that's all I had was it had hyperfang, superpower, focus punch, and calm mind. So even if I wanted to use counter, it's not gonna work. Got a way to counter you, Mistrevis. Nice. I might not even need to do grinding. Let's get a little bit for Jody. Oh, a Hypno. Dang it, what was a Hypno? I remember running into those. Uh, let's try Flintar. So it's either bug, grass, ice, steel. Speed isn't that good, but oh, it can deliver power, that's for sure. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what luck we got. We got so much better luck than last time. These two at least to level seven to eight, and the other maybe. Oh, a Bagon here. I could have caught a Bagon. Man. Whoa, flame body. No touchy. Okay, so it's probably ground or poison. Haha, <laughs> missed. I know I can't touch, but. Also, Pichu here too, which only give like twelve experience, and I think it was a ghost type, which is funny. I'll make sure to make this layout set up so when you guys see the video, it'll look very good. Get it set up. Okay, I don't remember what Aurons are. Sound troops, no uproar. Or hyper voice. <laughs> Aww. I know it's not a steel type. Haha. <laughs> okay, one more should get me to level 7. 
Unless I run into a Pichu. In which case I might have two. Hm. Let's hurry and get this thing taken care of. Aha! Uh -huh. Super power doesn't work on me. Normally, Mistreavus would be a good Pokemon to have, but it doesn't evolve until Sinnoh, so it ain't gonna work. I'm trying to learn Sand Tomb. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, 35 damage. I'd get rid of Constrict. Alright. Okay, everybody, I think I'm going to end this part off here. I will see you guys next time, where we make our way through the Viridian Forest. After maybe fighting Gary, and then maybe fight Gary. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I am too. See you guys next time.